Hey, welcome back into today's video. I was asked to look into something that's a little bit eerie. It reminds me of when I first started YouTube. It's a YouTube channel called Dad. It involves a uh, very, very particular style that I just feel kind of familiar with. Uh, you're going to want to grab your Illuminate Protection coffee mugs for this one. I'm out of coffee. It's a YouTube channel called Dad. It's got just over 58,000 subscribers and it features some things that remind me of, that's right, you guessed it, Poppy. It reminds me of the early Poppy days. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, Poppy is an eerie girl and it's uh, what I used to make videos on. And the reason I used to make videos on is I like to go into and decipher the different symbolisms and the secrets that were hidden within each video. Now, we had no idea if Poppy was human at the time. We thought uh, theories were she was a robot, an alien, something just not human. And we talked about how the concepts were of that of the uncanny valley concept, which uh, makes something that is human, but not fully human. And it gives us such an eerie feeling. Um, now all this for me was spoiled when they were involved in a real world lawsuit involving another creator by the name of Mars Argo. If you're interested in that whole fiasco, I'll put the whole playlist for that in the description below. The whole dad channel is very similar to the poppy aesthetic. And that makes me wonder if the aesthetic is the same, does that mean there are secrets that need to be unlocked? And just maybe there is something going on. Uh, let's check it out. So it looks like it's done in acts. As you can see, act one and act two. We're going to start in act one, and we're just going to take a brief look at the first video. Now, it starts off, they're looking straight at the moon, and it's called Dad is Out. This makes me think that since it's centering on the moon, that maybe Dad is not even from our planet. Dad. 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 Dad has voice. So it looks to me like he's just figured out he's had a voice for the first time. This makes me think that he's come from some place that secluded him. Hi. Dad has voice. Oh, what's that? Dad likes it out here. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's nice out here, right? You said you're a dad, too? Did you say you're a dad? Yes. Uh, I'm dad. Uh, yeah. I can't imagine my life without this little guy. So the first thing I'm drawn to do in this video is to figure out if there's any symbolisms going on. So uh, what I used to do is I'd, I'd start with the tie. It's a normal tie. He, he, aesthetically, he looks like your average dad, your average office working uh, individual. Um, he's wearing uh, a, a striped tie. Uh, we see strong colors of brown and white. Let's see if there's any symbolism going on with brown and white. It's looking like the color brown is a warm color that stimulates the appetite. While it sometimes is considered dull, it also represents the steadfastness, simplicity, and friendliness, dependability, and health. The color brown affects the mind and body by creating feelings of wholesomeness, stability, and peace. So that seems to be the perfect tie for a dad. So as the videos progress, we do find out that there is an actual family. Hey, Mom and Dad, can Griffin come over? Daughter, you know the rule. You're not allowed to have boys come over until you reach a certain... Yes, Griffin can come over. Thanks, Mom. Cheryl, I think we should talk about this first. I think we should talk about this. <gasps> <gasps> so 
So we're just going to overlook the symbolism for what kind of magazine that might be. Um, the things that I'm seeing here is that they're in some type of room. It's very similar to... Valentine's Day is a special day. Well, they're not talking. They don't have any voices inside. Let's further investigate. On Dad's YouTube page, there's a Discord server. I joined Dad's Discord server, and every so often, it asks you to check out a Google Doc. The Google Doc says plot relevant facts, so it gives you a whole layout of different things that are very relevant to the story. It says a new player has entered the game, a private investigator going by the name of Private on Discord. Private is investigating the YouTube server and dad in some way. It says Private's name is Carl Millens. If YouTube is on to me, then old Carl Millens will have let them know he ain't scared. It says Carl is one of the people leaving hints in dad's videos. They're seeing my message in the videos. Surprised they actually did. I guess we have some do-it-yourself PIs on our hands, but who put that end in in there? It says Carl is working against the YouTube server, and it also says that dad's real name is Captain Andin Real. This is really cool. It says the Emily reference in Dad Wake Up is Lieutenant Emily Ridley. So you can use this with the whole of Act 1. I'm going to put both these in the description below. It even says that Dad has a connection to Kepler 22B, so this does have something to do with space. It even says the television series Lost in the 1979 Alien are somehow significant. Dad also has a Twitter where it says he's the best pop star YouTuber in the universe, and he gives the link to Dad's YouTube. So it's looking like Dad's quest is to become the biggest YouTuber. He works at a place called True Value. Dad feels awake and ready for work. Okay, now let's see. I've got my briefcase, computer, calculator, pen, paper, coffee cup, and eternal dedication to the corporation. Now I just need a kiss on the cheek from my loving wife to send me on my way. And it, it was uh, surprising to me that this is actually a real store. Looks like a sporting goods type store, outdoor living type thing. I'm not really familiar with it. It might be a regional store. If you're familiar with it, let me know in the comment section below. One of the most interesting things I'm discovering is that uh, it seems to be like this is almost a simulation of uh, real life, of uh, popular culture in the family. Uh, it's escapating uh, different issues that r real families go through. Here you go, Dad. How about a brand new mini sledge for free? Free? Yep. And a screwdriver gun, some nice paint, regular hammer, tape measure, a way out. What? <gasps> Ooh, honey, go back to sleep. What a nice dream. So I did a little bit more research and the colorful room that they're in is apparently known as the server and uh, it adds to the mystery because uh, within the server they talk telepathically in their head and you saw when he went outside he could actually use his own voice. I'm actually liking this uh, this type of video we're doing today. I believe the outside of the server looks like this right here. It looks like to further the mystery, there's even binary codes throughout the videos. This is act one. I plugged in the binary codes into a binary text translator and it converted out to you are not prepared for what's coming. I feel like I'm going to have to sit down and like really break this down, but I wanted to introduce this to you guys to see what your thoughts on this was. It's very interesting. Uh, I, do I do see the similarities. Uh, to that poppy and it does take me back down memory lane 100 percent i'm actually going to put in the description the whole of act one it plays every video all together i think it's really interesting i'm going to go through it and i want you guys to go through it and i want to, you to see if there's anything that uh sticks out to you anything that uh you feel like we need to take a deeper dive into and don't don't forget that to be careful because there are things that they'll get you or something because as interesting as this video is there's always something that's more interesting to me that's right you guessed it i want to know what you think so why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below thumbs up for those likes as always brothers and sisters i will see you in the next video takes me back takes me back uh it's also interesting. I'm really glad to get this suggestion. I really want to know what you guys think about it. Uh, don't forget to get your official Rep Squad membership shirts. They are the latest in Illuminati protection. Yeah, you do need protection from the Illuminati because they're going to get you. Um, 
It's another way to show that you're repping if you're not repping. And how do you do that? All you gotta do is subscribe, notification, turn on, be in the comment section every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there and the rest of the Red Squad community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. Yeah, yeah, I was wearing a flamingo shirt. So what?